Hey Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport. Today this is the card that I want to show you that we're going to make. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and this is the, some of our new things from the Occasions catalog. This is the Butterfly Gala, which is this stamp set and this punch together. And it's really, really cool. And it was out of a back, um, couldn't order it for a while because it was so far back. It was such a popular demand, but it is back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are so very happy about it. So let me tell you how I made this. First of all, I took a piece of thick white, whisper white cardstock, and it's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Then I took a piece of the Gorgeous Grape, and this is four by five and a quarter, and I went ahead and adhered it to the white card base. Now, this card, this one is three and three quarters by five, and this is what we're gonna do our stamping on today. We are using not only the Butterfly Gala, but we're also the Timeless Textures, and we're using this little grid one right down here. <clears throat> So that's going to be how we, or what we use, and we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is take the Gorgeous Grape, and we're going to take the grid stamp set, and we're just going to kind of do it around, nothing that's overly spectacular about it. Just stamp it here and there. Just kind of see what we can do with it. It doesn't have to be straight or anything else because we're going to be covering a big part of that up. Next, we're going to take in the Thomas texture this floral kind of, I don't know what you call it, swirls of leaves. I just love it, but I don't know what it's called. Sorry about that. I had to get a block. And we're going to stamp that and stamp off. We're just going to put it in the two corners. After we get done with that, we're going to take, again, the little dots, and we're going to just stamp those around. We're going to stamp those in the Highland Heather. And I just kind of wanted to Touch it here and there, nothing, again, spectacular, just getting some little dots around, little spots. I just think it gives them a nice little pickup, so I liked it, and I thought that's what we're going to do. And I hope you like it as much as I've enjoyed making this. Okay, we're done with our little dots. Next, I took two of the statements. I took the Hello Beautiful and the good things in life are better with you. And I put them together in one, to make it one stamp. And after I stamped it, I cut it out in the largest stitched frame of uh, circles. And then I took a sponge dauber with the Highland Heather and I sponged around it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on with dimensionals. But before we do that, if you have some leftover things, because this is kind of a leftover thing or class of what to do, and well, I can't find where this one opens. I should have done this ahead of time, huh? Okay. We're going to take the beginning of this, if we can find it. <laughs> Here it is. And we're going to wrap around this card. Now, before I went ahead and did the bow and went all the way around, but I don't really think that that's going to be necessary. So we're going to get just a little piece of scotch tape. We're going to tape the back. And we're going to bring this one around. And tape it down. On my scissors here. Go ahead and cut that. And I'm a little bit crooked. But the beauty of scotch tape versus the glue on this one. <laughs> and I'm going to take just another little piece. Oops, excuse me. And I'm going to cut it. 
we're going to slide it through and we're just going to tie a knot. Well, if I can get it to go right. We're going to take this and we're going to put it on with dimensionals. And then I did the butterflies, <clears throat> and I'll show you that stamp set in a minute because it's so cool the way it works. It's just, I just love it. So here's our little Hello Beautiful. And I stamped the butterflies in vellum. And this is the particular butterfly stamp set that I used. But what I wanted you to notice is it's two it's two butterflies in one stamp. Can you see that? And it matches up perfectly with the punch so that it punches out absolutely perfect. So I took vellum and Versamark, did my embossing buddy and dipped it and put the stamp in Versamark and I stamped it onto the vellum and then I heat embossed black on it and I got the black, the butterfly. So then I took from the markers, I took the Highland Heather and the Coastal Cabana and I colored in my large and my small butterflies and what I did with these and I've never done this before but it worked out really well so I was happy about it I put them on with the mini dimensionals so you can't see it because it's behind the embossing and the coloring but I was able to just kind of flare it up just a little bit and I put it on and it just it bounced off the page so sweet I just loved it so that's how I did all of these. And again, like I said, the beauty is, is you can't see through it. So I thought it just turned out very, very pretty. I was very, very happy. And then I went ahead and I used my fast fuse because I still have some. I'm sad that this is gone, but I bought some off and I'm thoroughly enjoying it as long as I have it. I took it and then I adhered it to my card, making sure, of course, it opens the right way. And it's a good thing I checked. I would have done it upside down. And I just put it on the front. And I left the inside blank because I thought it might be something you want to say since it's such a special card and a pretty card. But that's it. That's all I have for you today. I thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to tap the little bell at the end so you'll get all of my updates whenever they come out. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy stamping. Bye-bye.